Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So it's a nice, chilly and cozy day, and I thought it would be perfect to do a full face of makeup. And today we're going to do a full face of She Glam. So let's get into it. I have all kinds of goodies in this little container, as well as some other things that wouldn't fit. So let's start with the base. And one of the things that wouldn't fit in that container <laughs> is the primer. So this is their Birthday Skin Primer, and it's supposed to be a pigment corrector. So let's dig in here. Oh, it's like really watery. That's very interesting. I'm gonna have to get a brush for this because it's like extremely watery. I guess it's skin correcting if your whole face is Casper White. Now that my hair is back, I'm actually just gonna go in with my hands. Oh, okay, there it goes. It's changing colors now. The thing about this is that it feels pretty oily, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's okay. I don't know if it's worth waiting the amount of time that you have to wait for She Glam stuff to come in. Like, I don't know, go go get a primer that you know works really well. To prep the eyes, I have two things that I'm gonna try. I think on this eye, I'm gonna go with their Ready Set Primer. And this is like a full color correcting palette, a little doe foot. I'm just gonna put a little bit on this eye. So this is a whole set of like contouring brushes. And I think this one is actually for foundation. And I, I saw like, I think it's Iconic London, I can't remember. I saw these on TikTok the other day and the set was super expensive and I knew that I had this set coming. So I was really curious to see if you guys have tried both sets or like if you have tried the set that you see on TikTok and you really like it. These are super soft, I do like that. And they're so thin. This primer doesn't feel heavy at all. Like it doesn't even feel tacky or anything like that. It just it doesn't really feel like there is hardly anything on the thigh. I think I'm going to go in with this kind of like peachy color right here. It's gonna be very interesting because this eyelid is going to be color corrected underneath the eyeshadow and the other is definitely not. So this does feel like very smooth and it does feel good on the eye. And look at the inside of my eye here compared to this side. So it's color correcting a little bit. It's going to cover that dark spot pretty good over there. Wow, I have been caspered out. Like, <laughs> I'm so white. Under eyes are pretty even. You set those really quick and I got a little powder puff from them. And where is the setting powder? Oh, here it is. And it is a pink setting powder. And then I like to just tap it like onto my hand right here and just get it evenly distributed on the puff. On the puff. I'm just going to just do one more quick check, make sure there's no creasing. And I think that's very pretty. It's actually like, it is a little more translucent than I was expecting. So definitely creasing in my like hood area right here. So let me see if I can feather that out at all. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then I know that there's no like color corrector on this eye, but I'm still gonna set it with powder. If you hear crazy noises outside, they're doing a ton of work like on my street. So bear with me, please. Okay, so just like a touch, just to get that set. The guys working on my street just came and knocked on my door and I looked like this, so. This is the She Glam Skinfinite. This is a hydrating foundation. Um, it doesn't say if it is full coverage or not, and I can't remember because I threw the box away already. Then look at this sponge. It is so soft. It feels like a big old marshmallow. Press it into the sponge a little bit. <laughs> this sponge, like it takes two seconds <laughs> to get your foundation where you want it. I definitely avoided the area where I put powder under my eye a second ago. My eyes crease just naturally so fast. It's such a pain. But the foundation is picking up off my forehead quite a bit. So I wish that the primer was tacky, but I feel like if the primer would have been tacky, this wouldn't have been a problem. We'll make it work. It is what it is. And I feel like that primer definitely is the culprit because like whenever I'm tapping this around on my hand to get it into the sponge, it blends like beautifully. Like that is actually a really pretty foundation. I just think that the primer is not doing its job like at all. It's not bad. It, I don't think, I wouldn't consider this to be like full, full coverage or anything, but it definitely covered some of the redness and I think it's a pretty good shade match. So I'm pretty happy with that. I just wish I would have used a different primer because I feel like I could have got a better sense for the foundation if I would have been using something else. I'm just going to go back into those areas like definitely here on the tip of my nose and just right here on my forehead just a touch. Okay let's contour and blush. The blush is Love Cake and the contour is 
upside down soft hand. I'm gonna try something I saw on TikTok the other day, actually with these two products. I'm gonna just draw a small line right there. That is pigmented, Lord. And then take my blush and go right above it. And I'm going to leave a line in between and then blend those together. Another sponge from them, it has the small end, so like it would be good for your concealer areas or it has the big end for blending bigger areas. So I'm just gonna take this and keep that same line on my face. Ooh, that's a lot of freaking contour. Okay, that's a lot going on. So let me try to fix this a little bit. I'm just gonna take the sponge I used for the foundation and there's still some foundation on it. So I'm just gonna go over where that contour is and try to buff that out with what's left of the foundation. Let me fix my lighting a little bit so you can see. But I kind of like that combination. I definitely love this blush. Oh my gosh, that is maybe half of what I used on the other side. And I like the amount of blush I used on the other, so I'm going to keep it the same. And the whole thought process behind this was with the line between the contour and the blush, it's supposed to blend seamlessly. I don't know if I see that. I'm still going to have to come back over with the sponge. That technique is a lot for such a pigmented product. I feel like if you were using something that had less pigment in it, it would work better, but this is not bad. Then I also got this highlighter in shade Bellini Brunch and it is beautiful. So I'm going to put just like the tiniest bit amount over the blush and just kind of give it that blush popper moment. And it definitely likes being applied with a finger a lot better than a sponge. Just a very subtle shine. Not much, just like a little pop. I'm going to put just a little bit of contour around my forehead. I'm just like almost scared to use this like a large amount because it is so pigmented and it just blends like it does blend really well <clears throat> it just blends like out so you got to be really careful with it i'm going to go in with this tiny piece and blend out the nose contour i do not like how that is blending hold on okay i'm happier with that this sponge is just superior i think that is the deal and then just a tiny touch down the middle i can tell i have not had breakfast yet I'm shaking. And then I feel like the primer is drying me out so bad that I don't want to set my whole face. So I'm just gonna take the this sponge and just kind of smooth out my smile lines and get just a touch more powder on the back of my hand and on my puff and just set those areas. Because whenever I touch my face, it doesn't feel tacky. Like you know how really hydrating makeup feels super tacky sometimes. It feels very matte, so I don't want to. I don't want to just like keep adding matte on top of matte. Okay, so because I have it, and just because I want a touch more blush on my face, I'm gonna go in with this Glam 101. This is in Seville, and the top is a highlighter. The bottom is a blush. I'm just gonna go in with a, like a tiny bit of blush, and it's gonna be on this thin brush, so it's gonna be extremely concentrated. And I just, I feel like putting a little bit of your powder blush over the top of your liquid blush just helps it pop. And I'm so pale, I need some structure to my face. So that's, I really like that. And I'm going to take the same brush and kind of go in a little bit with the highlighter and just go over the top of that area. For bronzer, I have this Sunside bronzer. And I think this packaging is so cute. Shade Dawn Glow. And I can't get it open though. And I don't really have a fluffy brush, so I'm going to get my own and just apply that. This is the ColourPop F118. I love this brush for bronzer. I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand just to see what it looks like. It's pretty light, so I think we're gonna be okay. Whew, it's pigmented. Okay. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Gonna have to fix that. I think that is very pretty. So that was a lot of powder. To bring a little bit of life back to the face, I'm going to do this press, press refresh setting powder. And it has like a really like coconutty tropical smell and I really like that. So let me put some of this on. And I'm gonna let that dry down for a second. That's dried down and onto my favorite part, which is eyeshadow. And I'm so excited about this little product. So this is the Chroma Zone. This is in color Aqua Nova. 
Oh, I'm in love with that. Then to go with that, I have this jelly. It's called Jelly Wow Eyeshadow Pop. This is in shade Nova Glow. So pretty too. I don't, I think I have to combine these. I just, what other color do I go with? Also have the She Glam. This is the Afterglow palette. These colors are so beautiful. I think I'm just gonna play it safe on the eye palette and just go in with this like softer brownish color. My, my first instinct is to always raise my eyebrows because I have hooded eyes, but I need to remember to like relax. <laughs> it doesn't come naturally to me. I'm just gonna kind of apply this where you can still see it here and just use it almost as like a transition shade. I just put the tiniest little bit on this brush. This, this brush set is also from She Glam and it actually is pretty pigmented. I do like the way this eye feels, like as far as being prepped. It's gonna keep fading this out, like kind of kind of curved here in the corner, but then straight out, out here. Uh, what's interesting is this eye is still so red because it's not color corrected. So I am definitely feeling like the shadows are just gonna look different on this eye. Yeah, you can definitely tell a huge difference. Now for the jelly. Okay, I'm gonna just take this like smaller, dense packing brush, kind of dip it in here a little bit. Oh, I just wanna like, I wanna jump in this. It is definitely a jelly-like consistency. And I'm obsessed with that very pretty champagne color. I am going to open my eye up pretty wide because I want this to meet that kind of bronzy color I put up top. This spreads so easy. Oh my gosh. Definitely going to want that to dry down. So let me put on the other eye. I feel like you could definitely apply this with your finger too if you wanted to. I kind of left this outer V area empty for, you know, I want to do the, I want to use the chromosome. And then I also think I'm going to put pull back into that powder palette and try something from there. While that dries, I'm actually going to do my eyebrows. This is the She Glam Eyebrow and Cream in color black brown. So it's probably going to be pretty dark, but little applicator, kind of a lot like e.l.f. Wow Brow. I'm going to just gently apply this because it is pigmented and it is dark. And I'm going to come back over this with a spoolie here in just one second and just kind of clean up those little crazy hairs. Brows are done. I think we're good to move on to the rest of the eyeshadow look. I want do I'm so like overwhelmed with the possibilities okay chill out these are so pigmented like I'm barely picking anything up on my brush and I'm just gonna kind of start diffusing the edge here and just blend it over into the cream I'm in love with this color combination that I have on right now like this would be my go-to makeup for every day it's so pretty now I'm ready for this moment. I'm ready. I'm scared. I'm having trouble breathing, but we're going to try it and see how it goes. Little angled brush. This one is pretty short and dense, so I think that will work out in my favor. I don't know. I'm not very good at eyeliner or drawing it on or anything like that, so I am freaking nervous. I'm just going to start at the outer edge here and just stamp it on. And I kind of want to keep it on the powder part so that it's not competing with the like shimmery cream that's on the inside. And then I'm going to stamp out the under part here and then just bring that up for kind of like a wing moment. And then I'm just going to draw right over my hood and go out to connect that wing. Now I'm just going to kind of finish filling it in and I'll show you up close. Okay, so I put the liner on the other eye and I put a second coat on both eyes and I'm feeling much more excited about it now. <laughs> like, I, I love that. It is so pretty. It is like just super shimmery. I am happy with it. Okay, I'm going to move on to lips now. Okay, stop it. I'm gonna move on to lips now. And I got these little like duos. One side is lipstick and the other side is a pencil. This one is pecan praline and I think that is so cute. But what I wanted to also try is this Rose Tea Glaze Days Lip Gloss. I think it's supposed to do like, you know, the donut lip type of situation. This pencil is so dark, but I'm gonna try it. It's precise. I like that, wow. I always go just like a touch under on the bottom 
and a touch over on the top. And I'm gonna go in with the lipstick and kind of blend that into the edges. It's a very pretty color. Oh my gosh, I really like this color. I think I'm actually gonna blend the edges just a touch. I don't have anything on this, do I? Yeah, just a little tiny brush and just diffuse it out right here. Then I'm gonna take the pecan praline and kind of go more towards in the middle of the lip. These are definitely more matte finish, so they're tugging a little bit, but they're drying down super fast. Whoops, they're drying down super fast. And to me, I like that because that means it's gonna last all day. And then I'm just gonna take the gloss and go over the top of it, but look at the blend between these two lipsticks and the lip liner. Wow, I'm obsessed. Okay, so go over with this, and this is dry already, like, let me just kind of do a quick transfer test because I'm kind of curious. Maybe the tiniest bit, but that took half a second, half a second to dry down. And I don't want to like oversaturate the lips because I still kind of want them to have that ombre effect that I have going on. It definitely took over, like there was no stopping it. It was out of control. I do really like the color though, I just kind of wish I would have used it by itself. But the combination between this pecan praline and the deep caramel was beautiful. I just wish I would have just put a clear gloss over the top of that. I loved that. We can't go back now. <laughs> this is also equally pretty, but I was obsessed with that first lip. So this is still a win for me. I just wish I would have used it by itself. Before we move on to eyelashes, I'm going to just set my face again one more time. On to eyelashes and I'm terrified <coughs> scared a cough into me lord i'm terrified i hate doing lashes i especially hate doing them on camera but we're gonna give it a try before i do the lashes i'm going to go in with the she glam mascara this is double ended so one end has like a very lengthening side and then the other end has kind of like a more volumizing side and the but it's amazing just trust me on this this is a must-have from she glam probably my top must-have so far like between this maybe the lipsticks like gotta have this let's go ahead and go in with the volumizing side and just kind of get a little bit of color onto my lashes the volumizing side doesn't do like i'm sure you can see a little bit of it but it isn't too crazy or anything once you combine the two though that's when the magic happens it's amazing and i got this full set of lashes from from shein of course i want to say i paid like five bucks for all of these it was super inexpensive and then i want to try their lash glue as well so here is the lash glue applicator oh it comes out on this end and it just like it's not i don't feel like this is a ton of product probably comparable to other lash glues i don't know i don't wear lashes a lot but i saw pretty good reviews on this so let's try it okay i'm kind of curious if i even need to trim these down because they're half lashes i may just kind of like use them as full lashes though i think those will be okay maybe put on eyelashes two or three times a year and the last time i put them on was in my katniss everdeen video a couple videos ago so i'm not even due like I'm way ahead of schedule. I can't breathe, I'm so terrified. Like I'm shaking. <sighs> okay, I gotta calm down. Shut up, do not be this easy after I just made that big of a deal about it. Those are some lashes, Lord. It's pretty though. Just let that finish drying for a second and do kind of the under eye. A lot going on. But the glue is actually holding up really well. Like, I'm actually really happy with the glue so far. Okay, let me get the other eye on and I'll be right back. Okay, and that is the full look done. Just a quick overview. The only thing that I bought that I like, I would just never repurchase ever again is definitely the Birthday Skin Primer. I do not like this, just period. Just don't waste your time or your money on it. Um, I Okay, I really feel like the foundation is good. I just think it was sitting over really crappy primer that just totally dried me out. So I'm gonna definitely give that a second try. And I'm actually like super happy with the color correcting palette. Much more happy with this than I am with the Ready Set Primer. The To me, the Ready Set Primer just did not 
get ready nor set. So I don't know. It just, the colors on this side are definitely pigmented or they look like that on the camera. But to me, it's just because there's so much of my redness showing through. I would rather just put on a touch more product on this side, which I love the way that this side looks. I would rather just put on a touch more product if I wanted it to look like this than to have redness popping through because on some looks that's just not going to work. So I would rather just have it color corrected and then be able to build on top of that the way that I want to. The bronzer, I did really like the bronzer. I really like the contour and the blush and the highlighter. Um, I definitely just, you know, learn from my mistakes. Don't go full hand with the contour because it's a lot. It definitely applies a lot. But other than that, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm super happy with everything. The lipsticks, I'm over the moon about. The, like I said, the blush, like everything, basically just the whole base, I really like. And I even really like the lashes. The only, th okay, so this glue is good. The glue is good. This is just so awkward. Like, it's stupid. Once you eat it out, like this flat end is okay, but it just, I don't know if it's worth it to just be this weird and awkward. I don't know. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. This was a complete blast. I'm in love with my makeup. Like, I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to like take some pictures and get some close-ups. So thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.